What's good, people? It's your man, Chef. I'm off the dome back here for another video. And today's an interesting topic. I was just thinking to myself, what if Biggie and Tupac and Big L and Big Pun and all these hip-hop legends did not die so tragically so early? Would it have changed the game at all? Well, in retrospect, I think it wouldn't have. But let me tell you why. Biggie... I was listening to his Ready to Die album and a couple of his singles last night just to refresh myself because I heard him before, but I just want to listen to the lyrics deeply. And I realized he still had some good lines. And Tupac did as well, especially with his, you know, his hooks he would get people to do and stuff like that. People would still imitate their cadence, their style, their flow, and they would still repeat their lines and shout them out. I still say, Coochie down to the socks. What you going to do? Hide or run? I love it when you call me Big Pop. If the hair ride bigger than hair night. It's still certain lines that he says in those songs and singles. Well, they're singles. In those singles that I think rappers will still interpolate and repeat. And the main reason I say that nothing really, really changed about the rap game if they were never shot tragically is because look at Kanye West, Lil Wayne, Drake. Lil Wayne didn't die early. And you still see, literally, the hottest names in the rap industry are Lil Wayne clones. Young Thug is a Lil Wayne impersonator with a higher pitch. Lil Baby is an uh, imitation of Young Thug. Gunna is. Everyone signed to YSL, basically. Lil Uzi Vert has a little bit of Lil Wayne influence in him. So, when you look at Future, of course, has that auto-tune T-Pain Lil Wayne mix element to him. Drake shouts out Lil Wayne all the time. He still used some of his flows. So if you look at all the tree of people that were affected by Lil Wayne and he didn't die early at all, then I think Ja Rule and 50 Cent could have still existed. And I think Rick Ross could have still existed if Biggie would have still been alive. Rick Ross might have been more successful because maybe Biggie could have passed the torch to Rick Ross like you know, Lil Wayne did for Drake. Think about that. Think about if Tupac would have settled their differences with Suge and Dre and they all came together. And remember, Dre still is behind Eminem and 50 Cent. So that's another reason why 50 Cent and Ja Rule were kind of getting those Tupac comparisons along with DMX, even though they all wrapped around the same time. But when Tupac died, though, all three of those guys took the spot. Imagine Dre passing the torch. Imagine Tupac and Dre passing the torch to 50 Cent. Now, granted, 50 Cent was already huge enough, but still, I think that still would have did a good deal for his career. So, that's just something interesting to think about. People always say the game changed when those two guys died, and I agree that changed to an extent, but I don't think anything different would have happened if they would have stayed alive any longer, because we see it now with our current artists that they will still interpolate and use artists' things while they're alive or dead either way. There are a lot of people that sound like Accentation coming out. There's a lot of people that still cite Kanye as their main inspiration for their production choices and their rhyme schemes. People still cite Jay-Z as a source and use some of his lines. He's still alive. He's 51 years old. So anyway, get at me. Comment in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe. And just stick around for new videos. We got new videos coming for you every day. Peace out. I'm your man Chef from Off the Dome.